Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. In the third part of Spring Boot EOP interview questions, we are going to look at the last type of advice which is remaining that is at the rate around and some interview questions around it and theory related to aspect oriented programming. Before coming to theory, let's first see the demo of how at the rate around works. In the previous two videos, we have seen aspect advice point cut joint point works, how at the rate before, at the rate after, at the rate after retaining and after throwing works. But out of all this, the most important part is at the rate around. Most of the interview questions will be around this particular advice because this is a much trickier and much more complicated and powerful aspect in complete AOP concept. So let's get started and first implement at the rate around in our Spring Boot application. Then we will come to theory because it will be much more easier to understand once we have the live demo with us. So let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to support us so that this video reaches to more of the people who are preparing for interviews like you. Thank you. Now let's quickly see how at the rate around works. I'm going to work along with the add employee only. So the point cut expression remains the same. I'm going to execute it on employee services add method and the advice goes like this around advice for employee service add employee service. Now you're not going to have a join point here. Remember now you're going to have proceeding join point and no other parameter expected here. Now here the first login will be say inside around advice in aspect business logic to save employee started at now you can have your timestamp. After that you can have a try catch block which handles your exceptions which can occur inside your join point. Do you realize till now none of the advices were ca was capable enough to catch your exception. It was either just showing the exception that was thrown but was not able to catch it. So this is why I say around is the most powerful advice. First of all what you will write here will make that advice execute. So what you will write here to make it execute join point dot proceed it says that if you do not put the proceed here the real method will not be called at all so this advice if you are using use it very judiciously also if this returns something and you return void your postman which used to have responses like this will not have any response now because the return type of this advice will be the return type that you are going to return to client. So first point remember do not forget to do this line number 49 otherwise your method will not be called at all. Second thing remember if you are not returning something like this like I am going to demo this if you are returning void your return type will not work. Thirdly you can also do many things with this you can use join point or proceed multiple times and can make your code work multiple times. Fourth thing, if any exception occurs, you can catch it and you can do your own logging. Rather than throwing an exception, you can do your own logging. Saying inside around advice in spec, the business order to save employee failed terribly and e dot get message. This is how you can log and prevent any kind of runtime failures in your advice. Also, you can comment it and not run at all and return something that you want to return by changing the return type here. That is also we are going to see. Also what you can do is whatever input I give from here while adding an employee, you can transform that particular argument by giving an object array here. That is also I'm going to demo now. So let's first see how it works explicitly. The happy part says the business logic is started. And at the end, I also have one logger which says it ended successfully. Simple. So let's try running it. And now since initially you had this internal server error, you were having runtime exception and you were not able to handle this with at the rate after throwing. Will we be able to handle this with this catch? Let's try it again. Now again, so first goes to controller. then around aspect is called that means the business logic started and then it goes to at the rate before of employee service so if you have at the rate before and at the rate around who will get precedence at the rate around is powerful enough to get the precedence 
and this is called first and then at the rate before gets the priority in the service layer after that the service layer starts working it says it is greater than 5 yes it is greater than 5 you can see the employee name is size greater than 5 so it's going to throw you an exception and after throwing an exception it is going to come to after throw and it is going to print it so it's going to print your exception and then after advice is going to be called but this is the beauty of at the rate around what it did is it lets you run at the rate after throwing it lets you run at the rate after but it is capable enough to catch it with try and catch and says i am inside the around aspect business logic failed terribly and then after advice of controller has your response and you can see it's 200 okay it was not the internal server error that you were getting earlier when you have not implemented at the rate around advice why you were not able to get an exception that you were able to get it earlier because you caught that exception this feature is not available in our earlier advices which is available now here in at the rate around so this is why i say at the rate around is very powerful it is capable enough to catch your exception and give you some user friendly exception also i have just given it a simple inside around advice the business logic ended here and it failed terribly sorry sorry please reduce your name you can also beautify it and throw your own custom exception after catching it which is not allowed in any of these four ones the second best part is you can also do one thing you cannot call this at all will this still work so now to hit it again it comes to before controller around after but after if you can see nothing is called and you have 200 okay why because first or at the rate before of add employee is called at the rate around advice is called and says it started but since you did not call anything it says it ended so if you can see business logic ended and since it ended the controller at the rate after advice is called at the rate after of employee controller is called and you get your response so this is again a beauty of join point dot proceed when commented the real logic is also not getting executed that is why i say that whenever you use at the rate around never forget this line otherwise your real method call will also be blocked and you will keep on wondering i have done everything i have my service in place every logic is in place why is still not my logic is not working that is because in the aspect you forgot one line and this one line will not let you execute your business logic so remember if you are using it the rate around be very specific how you implement it this is not just that you can also call it twice dot proceed or even thrice i can do it multiple times let me show that to you now how many times let's see our debugger goes there let's clear the console let's try hitting and let's let's try with emp5 let's try running it so one this is second time the business logic is getting executed and this is the third time the business logic is getting executed and now if you can see it's 200 okay and there is now no return type because you have not returned anything from here you have returned void from here so now now let's see how to return an employee so return type will be changed to employee and the proceed will have a return type of employee but remember join point dot proceed is going to return you an object so you need to type cast it to employee type and then you need to return it also after that if there is some exception return null so now if you restart it and you try to run with emp6 then the control goes here with emp6 the size is less than 5 this is only 4 so after returning it says saved successfully and you can see here that at the rate around has also worked perfectly fine as business logic to save has ended successfully with id 6 this is added successfully and in this you can see your re response now initially since we were not returning anything we were returning void you were able to see empty here but now since we are returning an employee here which is getting saved in the join point 
that is why you are able to see the response here so this is again one more thing that you have to remember if you return nothing your client will see nothing so if your join point is returning something it is your task to make it return from the at the rate around otherwise this at the rate around will not let your client see any kind of response from your join point now the last thing i want to you to notice that you can even change what you send from here so next time if i send, send as emp7 the id will become 7 and name will become emp7 and it should be successfully saved but just before calling the join point what if i create an employee dummy employee not set name as dummy so though you are trying to save emp7 dummy might get saved so just before that create an array of employee of size 1 only as of now and emp error of 0 is equals to this dummy e employee and you can send this to join point that is because your join point dot proceed takes an object array i could have just sent an employee but since proceed takes an array of objects i have to create an array object and send the employee array to it now when i go and say proceed then employee service proceed will be called but not with my emp7 but with a dummy name here so this is the power of expect it can even change the request parameter to your method also so let's retry this let me hit with employee 7 i should get id 7 and name emp7 but you will be able to see dummy here dum by let's hit it again inside expect around what it does is it creates an employee array which is having a name as dummy and it gives it to proceed now when it give it to proceed if you can see the request parameter to this method is changed completely what i passed was emp7 what i got was dummy data which was added by your expect here dummy and when it is going to save this an employee what do you think will be saved in the database obviously dummy will be saved in the database so what i was expecting is if i'm giving emp7 i should get emp7 saved in the database but what is actually saved a dummy name is saved in the database now even i can show you the database if you want this is the dummy which is saved at 7 what i have sent was emp7 so i was expecting emp7 here but what is rather saved in db that is dummy so again as i said at the rate around is that powerful that even it can alter the request parameter which goes to your join point method so remember to use these at the rate around judiciously it's capable enough to change the parameter it is capable enough to not call this join point at all and still work fine and you will keep on thinking why my join point is not working why my employee service is not working because you have used at the rate around that particular join point and forget to write it proceed so again let's quickly conclude this us advice is the one who surrounds the join point and the first parameter to remember this is a very important distinguishing feature the proceeding join point what is the first parameter for all other advices that's join point so every other advice has join point only at the rate around has proceeding join point remember to call proceed if you do not call proceed here then underlying method execution will not occur also you can change the value of the argument by use passing an object array like i have done here the return value is very important if you do not return a value like i have returned void your client your browser your angular or your postman will not be able to see any response here if you do not re return from here and lastly the proceed may be called once many times and not at all so i have given you example of that also you can live without this also you can run multiple times also and once also it's all valid scenarios it's all quite legal so that was all about the different type of aspects and aspect oriented programming that can be asked in an interview with at the rate around being the most specific one now we will be covering multiple interview questions like types of advices join point examples what are cross cutting concerns how to implement it what problem arises 
what are advantages disadvantages proxy types everything if you want me to cover all these also interview questions just let me know in the comment section i'll create the part of it also thank you